John, we have some serious options to discuss here. Now, Barbara's having contractions, and the placenta, I think, has torn again. How much blood has she lost? I've got that situation under control. But the placenta could continue to peel off. In which case, she could die. Well, then we really can't wait around to decide. We, we... No, waiting is an option. Her system is under a lot of stress, but... Well, on one level, it would be better to go ahead and just deliver the baby tonight. I think it's too soon, Audrey. We, 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 we deliver that baby tonight. There's a 40% chance of a brain bleed. And the baby's lungs are not fully developed. Its chances of survival are very low. Well, if we had a week or ten more days, the child would be more viable. It definitely, but Barbara's unconscious. And, and with the smoke inhalation complication, every hour we wait could work against her. All right, all right. What, 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 what are her chances if we go ahead and we deliver this baby right now here tonight? It's definitely better than if we don't. Now, there is no guarantee that she's going to come over out of the coma if we deliver, but it will relieve the strain on her system. And John, John, we're talking considerable strain here. So what you're saying is i got to decide here. Well, I'm, I'm going to risk the child's life by delivering too soon. I'm going to risk her life by waiting too long. And whichever you decide, there's no guarantee that either one of them will survive. I'm sorry. Right before the concert, I had another fight with Molly, and I said some things. I don't know where they came from. She knows how to push your buttons. Yeah, but there's no reason for the way I acted. After what happened, I just took off. Well, at least you walked away. Yeah, but if I had stayed there and yeah. tried to work things out, Holden, maybe none of this would have you happened. You could not have predicted what was going to happen. Nothing you said and nothing that happened between you and Molly has anything to do with what she's going through right now. I hope you're right. Molly? Oh, my God. What happened to her? Oh, wait, nobody knows. I found her behind the church. Look at her face. That would beat the hell out of her. Who did this to her? Who did this to know. my cousin? I don't know. I don't know. We just nobody knows. Here with her because get out. Was gonna be... Just get out. We don't need your help. Fine. Hey, Jack. So night, huh? Tell me about it. How's Molly? Uh, not too good. Carly's in there with her now. Hey, looks What's like in? you all made it out okay. Yeah. yeah. No burns, no broken bones? Yeah, we got out before it started. All right. So you guys have any idea how this all got started? Well, I talked to the fire marshal, and the short version is... We can't be sure, Ben, but... He's definitely not ruling out arson. Man. Arson? That's sick. Who'd burn down a church? Hatred. What? You know, it's ironic. The church put this concert together not tonight to, to draw us all together, you know? Heal wounds, make friends, find peace. But if the fire marshal rules it's arson, then instead of healing, we stirred up suffering. All this pain, all these people got hurt because they wanted to celebrate something good. Thank you. 